Hello, this is Celeste Grutman from Happy Grasshopper, and today I'm going to show you how quickly you can get your account set up and ready to send messages. So the first thing that you're going to do after you create an account is check your email, and we're going to send you a confirmation email. Um, it's going to come from support at Happy Grasshopper. If you don't get it, you might want to check your spam box, and you're going to go ahead and click a link right here in the email to confirm your account, and that's going to log you in. So the first thing you're going to do once you're logged in is you're going to set your send preferences. We have two ways that you can send Happy Grasshopper messages. You can set them to send automatically or you can set them um, to send only after your approval. If you pick automatic, we're going to send you a, a send alert um, 48 hours before your message is ready to be sent. You'll still have the opportunity to log into your account, choose from other messages, edit your message in any way you like. Um, but we are going to automatically send that for you at the end of the 48 hours. If you set your account to approve, we're going to send that send alert. You'll need to log in and approve your message before it will be sent. Most people like to start out with approve, so we'll start there. The next thing we're going to do is uh, test your email signature. Um, so our Happy Grasshopper emails look a little bit like this um, one that's featured here. They start with hi and the first name of the contact that it's being sent to. There's the body of the email. Then we let you edit your closing and your signature along with um, your more advanced signature down here. So our default for a signature is best, but maybe you like to assign your email warm regards. We're going to go ahead and just set that right here. Um, I sign all of my messages with Celeste. You're going to just input what, however you sign your messages. Um, then you're going to go ahead and get your full name put in there, your business name. Now your tagline can be used for anything you want it to. Our tagline is effortless e-nurturing, but this area can be used in whatever way you want to add whatever message you want to your signature. Your physical address is required. That's what keeps us can spam compliant. So. Go ahead and fill that out. And the email address that's listed here is going to be the email address we send your messages from and the email address that all replies go to. So you can make this email address different than the one that you use to set up your account. In that case, the emails will be sent from this address and the, your system alerts will be set, sent to the email address you use to set up your account. If you're working as a team, you can use a secondary email right here and you can list a phone number here, secondary phone number if you have a fax line or a cell phone that you'd like to add, you can use that field. For your website, you want to start with http colon forward slash forward slash and then your web address. Then you can upload a logo and a headshot. Um, I like to actually include both my logo and my headshot in my signature. If you don't have a file that combines both of them, please feel free to email that over to us. We'd be happy to combine the files and upload it for you. You can send those to support at happygrasshopper.com. Then for your Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter accounts, um, what you're going to want to do is navigate to each of those sites and grab the URLs for those pages. So first we'll go to Facebook. Here's our Happy Grasshopper Facebook page. And I'm just going to copy the URL right here at the top of the page. And then I'm going to paste it into my Facebook. Um, Twitter, same thing, I'm going to go to my Twitter page. And I'm going to copy that URL, paste it over here on my Twitter. And then my LinkedIn page, I'm going to go to my LinkedIn profile. Um, and I'm going to grab my LinkedIn URL now. This is my public profile, so you're going to want to make sure you grab your public profile URL. And we will paste that in as well. So then I'm going to go ahead and save. And this alert right here is telling me my signature details were saved successfully. If it says that there was an issue, what you're going to want to do is scroll down and try to fix that. Uh, the most common issues are that you forgot the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash before your URLs or your logo or headshot was too large. Um, 
If it's too large and you don't know how to reduce the file, you can go ahead and email that to us at support at Happy Grasshopper. We'll be happy to get that loaded for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click the preview button now and see how my signature came out. So this is our Happy Grasshopper signature, very professional looking. Here's my social media links. You might want to go ahead and test those. Make sure they work. Looks good. And so now I'm going to go back. Now we do also offer a custom email signature option. So if you want your Happy Grasshopper signature to look just like the signature that you already have in your email, go ahead and just click on this link, open up a new email to send to us, and you can insert your signature in that email. Mine looks like my Happy Grasshopper message. Just go ahead and um, email that over to us and we will set up your signature. We'll charge your card $2 for that service. So the next thing that we're going to do in setting up our Happy Grasshopper account is we're going to upload some contacts. There's several ways to do that. Um, you can add a single contact. You might want to add yourself to your list so that you get the messages that your clients do. That'll let you know that your message did go out in timely fashion. Um, you can email us your contacts. That by far is going to be the easiest way to get contacts over to us. Uh, we're happy to format your list and upload those for you. You can upload your own CSV or Excel file, or you can import them from Outlook, Mac address book, Gmail, AOL, Hotmail, Yahoo. Go ahead and um, click here, and we're going to import some contacts from MacMail. So we're going to click to start our import. And I, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to click on my Mac address book. If you have Outlook loaded on your account, you'll see the Outlook button there. And this is going to take a second to load up here. It's just going to ask if it um, can have access to your, to your computer so it can suck those contacts over. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that access. And now it's going to populate the contacts here in my account. And I'm going to go ahead and um, actually just go ahead and import all of these contacts. So. I'll check them all and click next and then I'm going to click the import button right here and that's going to take a couple of minutes to import. Now as it's importing our system is scanning for duplicates it's also scanning to make sure all of these email addresses are valid. Um, so don't worry if you upload a list and um, then add some contacts to it and you want to upload it again our system will scrub that list for duplicates or if you have contacts in multiple systems just upload every single list we'll scrub those out for you um, so my contacts were successfully uploaded so I'm going to click on click here on active um, and here are my contacts so um, after we send uh, your messages you might have a few show up here in bounce that'll be a good indicator that you might need to check those contacts. If you have more contacts than your account type allows, some of those contacts are going to show up here in pending. Um, you can upgrade your account and then import the rest of those. After you send your first message, you might notice that you have a few people unsubscribed. Those people are going to show up here. And if you have any contacts that um, have an issue with them, then they're going to show up here. So this contact, Julia Lesage, um, her email address is support at liquidweb.com. Our, our system picked up that that is not an individual and it's going to go ahead and put that into the invalid list. So once you've um, checked that out, you can go ahead and delete it if you want um, so that you don't have to look at it every time you come back here. And that's about it. Your account's configured and ready to send. Um, we can go ahead and view our, and edit our next email now. And it's going to give us a little alert here that our next message is scheduled for June 28th and we're going to receive a, a notification for tomorrow, June 26th. So in the morning we'll see a message come through that we're ready to send with Happy Grasshopper and we can come back and approve those messages. Uh, if you want to see how that process works, you can watch our next message on how to choose and approve an email message for Happy Grasshopper. I hope you have a great day. As always, if you have any questions, you can email us at support at Happy Grasshopper or give us a call at 727-232-9117. And uh, we hope they have a great day. Thanks.